I built this cool lo-fi animation using AI tools and a bit of manual work. And this is a version which was created with just AI tools and without any manual intervention using this picture that I took uh, on a vacation. So welcome to the first video in the AI experiments series. I recently went on a vacation to Lake Tahoe with my wife and my toddler. We went up to a hill in a gondola and while coming downhill, my toddler was sleeping and I was totally amazed to see him uh, sleeping like this even in bright sunshine and while the gondola is moving. And I thought, why not share this feeling with the entire world and create a lo-fi animation out of it. So all in all, it is like a five steps process. The first step was clicking the picture, which, uh, which I had uh, while on my vacation. Then the second step was converting it to a cartoonish form and seeing the Ghibli trend, I think it was a no brainer, but I had to do multiple iterations on it. Uh, like multiple versions of it because uh, f the first reason was the colors the, like the default colors were very light and I wanted like a, uh, a darker version. Then the second reason was the assets that I needed for step three, which we'll talk about in a moment. Then step three. So this is ideally like the last step because you can ask AI to do the animation as well. And this is what the AI could generate. So I, I use this tool called app.clingai. So the first version that is it created was this one, which is very real. It looks 3D. Uh, it's it's really good, but the problem is that since I needed it to be like a loop, so the end point and the start point had to match and it couldn't do that. This was the second iteration that it created a gondola passing in some random direction and this another gondola that appeared like a Spider-Man. Anyway, this is another version that it created when I gave it the like the same start and the end point and it looks like Mario is enjoying valley crossing. So this is another version that it created. Okay, I really don't know what is happening in this one. Anyway, so coming to the real step three, which was uh, generating the assets because it was clear that I have to have, um, I, ha I need to do the animation manually. Now, generating the assets from the Ghibli image, I did a lot of photoshopping to abstract out multiple parts. The first one was the gondola and the baby and uh, later I animated the baby as well because I could see that the baby it felt like I should probably put some life into the baby and ask the AI tool to uh, to make the baby breathe a little still making sure that the start and the end point is the same because I needed I needed all of that to happen in a loop I also needed a fake gondola uh, for this I used the photoshop's uh, gen AI then the background so for all the missing parts of the background I used photoshop's uh, gen AI to fill all the gaps and it uh, worked really nice. I also had to remove all the trees so that I can animate the trees uh, and like including the ground later on. I fixed a bunch of fires because they were not straight. I basically drew them by hand. And then the last and the most difficult part was the trees. So this is this is one of the reasons why I had multiple iterations of the Ghibli image because I needed the trees to have a better edge contrast. When I say edge contrast, I mean that the leaves of the trees should have a very dark uh, border because if they don't, if they blend into the background, into the sky or the lake, then it becomes really hard to cut those trees out. So, uh, and secondly, I needed two layers of trees to really go deeper into that. Let's, uh, let's, let's try to understand how we observe reality. So let's say when you are on a train and you're looking out of the window, the objects that are closer, uh, they appear to be moving faster than the objects that are really farther away. So th this this is called a parallax effect and this is what gives you a feel of uh, uh, 3D. And I needed a similar feel. So I needed two layers of trees. The, the layer above should be moving faster than the layer below. And the other challenge there was, so let's say, uh, so consider this as the ground. Uh, consider this as the mountain top, which needs to be uh, looped one after the other, and it'll have uh, a couple of trees. Now, the problem is that the top left of this picture need to match the bottom right, because if I need to loop it, I'll have to loop it like this. And if these, these things don't match, it'll create a problem because it'll create a visual artifact and things won't look the way they should. Even, even for this case, the Photoshop's Gen AI helped a lot. So after moving a few things around, generating a few things, I was able to achieve this desired effect on both of the uh, layers of the trees that I uh, generated. Now, uh, step four, the animation itself. And this was the easiest part. I uh, used After Effects. I had to do some masking on the baby and the gondola because videos don't have transparency. Like if it was an image, it was very simple. I could go to Photoshop, then use this uh, either magic lasso or magnetic lasso uh, and call it a day. But since videos don't have transparency, I had to do this manual masking on the baby and the gondola. Then I had to animate the gondola that I created 
need to make sure that it's actually following the wire uh, that I have above. Then I imported the two parallax layers that I created for the trees and used this effect called motion tile. So this is like a really cool effect using which you can animate a particular image uh, in any direction and have it repeated as well. You can move it around, you can match, uh, you can match the edges and whatnot. So the way I created the assets using Photoshop, it really helped uh, applying this effect seamlessly and this is how the result looks like it's, it's, it's even playing in my background right now and step five the last one was the audio so i came across this super cool tool called udio and it is a breeze i just had to add the prompt for the kind of the audio or the music that i need and it generated pretty cool music i think the the they are a total of seven or eight songs uh, which are being played in a loop in this video so give it a try and let me know whether you like it or not. It's mostly like lo-fi, atmospheric, um, uh, uh, ambient, calm, sleeping, and whatnot. And we are towards the end. If you guys are wondering why this video. So the purpose of this video is to let you guys know what can be built using multiple tools that, uh, that we have today. And I also wanted to push my limits. Let's see what I can build as a software engineer who is not like a graphics guy by design. Uh, Anyway, I think I think the output is pretty good. So there, there are going to be a bunch of videos uh, uh, in the series for a lot of things that I wanted to do for uh, for quite some time, like building a personal website and building a few uh, mobile apps and whatnot. So stay tuned. And till then, go ahead and use this video. It's already on my channel. I think it's a one hour long video. Play it while you are coding, focusing, sleeping, sleeping like a baby, like literally. And let me know whether it works for you. I guess I'll see you then. Bye.